riding in a golf cart is convenient, but honestly, it's kind of boring. It's just like driving a car. You sit in a seat all day. You got a couple cup holders. You turn left, you turn right. You often have to stay on the cart path or go 90 degrees directly back to it. And it kind of slows around down unless you know how to use one the right way. But recently I had a chance to ride on a Finn scooter and it has changed the way I think about riding. And it's changed the way I answer the question, walk or ride. I'm Ryan Balangy, thanks for checking us out once again. I was down at True Blue Golf Club down in Merle's Inlet in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area over the summer. And a buddy of mine, Mitch Lawrence from Talking Golf Getaways and, and Golf Newsnet, Golf Trip X, we got together and we wanted to play some golf. He said, hey, you want to ride the Fins, the Fins scooters, which I've been on before at PGA Merchandise Show demo days just for like a couple seconds. And they were fun enough, but I never was able to ride one for a full 18 holes. And so driving down to Merle's Inlet, I downloaded the Fins scooter app, which you have to download to be able to use a Fins scooter. You got to download the app, you got to create an account, and you've got to pay for it using that app. So it was $32 to use for 18 holes. And you use the app to unlock the device. So that means it connects the device to your phone. And then that way it kind of tracks where you go just during the round to make sure A, that you're still using the bike, B, you don't go anywhere crazy, and C, you can end the round that way. But just getting on the bike, even as they were explaining to me what I was supposed to be doing, like the safety procedure and you know, not to endanger myself or other people, I could feel like it was gonna be a cool experience. And it's just like riding a scooter. It's just like getting on the back of a scooter or like a moped if you ever rode those. But it goes 17 miles per hour. It's got a really cool kickstand. So it's, it's kind of like, a, looks like a golf club, like the, the head of a golf club kicks down and this keeps it in place, which it needs to because it is a, a heavier bike. And the seat, the seat itself kind of has a little up and down to it, has a little bounce to it. So you can make sure that you can kind of move with the golf course. You need to be able to do that obviously because unlike a road, you're allowed to ride these fin scooters on grass, basically all the way up to the green, which is really cool. But you need to be able to have the suspension that can handle that. So you have to kind of practice riding with it to prove that you can do it and you're allowed to do it. It's got a couple of things on the handle. So uh, one is a kind of flip up and down button so that you can accelerate on the bike. It's not, uh, it's electric, it's not gas. So you got a battery on it. So you're not kind of polluting the air and you don't smell the exhaust throughout the course of the round. And then you've got hand brakes on either side, depending on what your dominance is, you can choose to do either. And then you store your bag kind of in between your legs, basically. So there's a slot in which to kind of put the bag as it goes down the, the frame of the bike and then your clubs kind of hang off the top, which at first seems kind of awkward, right? Like why would you straddle your golf bag for 18 holes like a rocking horse? But the second <laughs> you hit a tee shot and then get on the bike and arrive at your ball off the first tee and you put the bike in, into a stand and then you reach for your club, it's perfectly intuitive because it's almost like having a caddy. Like you put the bike down, you stand it up, you get your club out, you hit your shot, you come back and you just keep going on your merry way. And like I said, the, the thing I really like about it the most is that the range of motion that you can have with it. So you typically on a cart, you're either cart path only or 90 degrees in if you're at a private or a, uh, a, a public facility or at a place like this in my country club, we have carts, but we don't have paths from tea to green. So if it's rained a lot, you can't use carts at all. So with the fins, you can use them pretty much anywhere because they don't apply as much pressure, as much strain. It's a two wheel vehicle. It's one person at a time. And, and they're meant to be able to go pretty much anywhere on the golf course. Obviously don't drive them in bunkers. Don't take them into water hazards, but pretty much everything else is in play and it allows you to get around a whole lot faster. And the thing that I really love about the fins, other than just the sheer convenience of being able to go from point A to point, a, point B as you would like, is just being able to feel the breeze while you play. I mean, one of my favorite things about golf is being able to walk and it's because you can feel like you're in nature and if there's a good breeze like there is today, you can just feel the coolness against your skin. But when you're riding on the fins, you can feel it even more. And it, on a hot day, like we experienced in Myrtle, you feel that breeze and it just kind of takes away a little bit of the heat. You don't get as hot as quickly and it allows you to just kind of enjoy nature a little bit more than feeling like you're just in a car going from place to place, getting out, kind of waving, hitting the ball, and then, then going back away. It does have a couple of other convenience features. It's got a drink holder down in the back right 
so it'll hold a really big like Yeti style or tumbler style uh, cup holder so you can put you know if you brought a water bottle big size one it'll hold it comfortably you can put beer in there you can put sodas in there pretty much anything that you're gonna drink out of it's going to fit and the nice thing about it is is that it's not going to tumble over uh, you're, it's not gonna fall out uh, over the course of riding throughout the round the bike goes about 17 miles per hour if you catch it going down a hill before the governor hits you actually can go a little bit faster than that that can get a little bit scary if you are a little bit squeamish about riding Obviously, you don't have to wear a helmet, so that's something you got to be aware of. And they say explicitly on the app before you go ahead and <laughs> start driving that you should not be under the influence of alcohol when you are riding the bike. I think there's some general leeway here that you can drink a beer or two, but it is a terrible idea to get drunk and try to use this because you will probably wreck it and you will probably have to pay for it. But what I think Finn scooters do really well is they do a couple of things. One, right now in the world in which we live, having single rider vehicles is really important because that has become absolutely paramount in, in lots of states and it's become something golfers have become accustomed to even in states where you're allowed to ride with partners again from different households so being able to ride solo it speeds up the round because it allows you to go from your point a to the, your point b instead of having to wait for your partner's point b to get to the ball it allows you to do it more quickly it's a little bit more fun it's obviously open so you're not in close quarters with anybody it's it's a good thing we're going to see more single rider vehicles out there and i think if we're going to have those i think that option needs to include fin scooters or that type of vehicle not a single rider cart not something like that but something that if you're going to ride you should be able to get some more enjoyment out of it and feel like a, you're a little bit more in nature than perhaps uh, you otherwise would feel like in a cart so two thumbs up on the fin, the fin scooters. If you get a chance, I know it's $30 or so, and the course kind of sets the fee, but at $30, it's worth trying. And as these kind of pick up more distribution and more and more places have them, it's gonna come down in cost. It's gonna be more like $20, $25 sooner than later. And if you're going to go someplace fun, a little bit different, then maybe you're paying a little extra money to go play and have a special day, and you do want to ride, take advantage of the fin scooter, give it a shot for yourself, and I think you'll really have a good time. I'm Ryan Balji saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.